What is going on YouTubers? Gabe here with the View Dork and today we're going to talk about reclaiming 20% of the bandwidth. Yes, 20% of your download speed that Windows is stealing from you. Also, we're going to show you how to increase the speed of your website loading time. Did you know that Doom was only about 2.3 megabytes and while well, the average website is about 2.39 megabytes, but why does it take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 seconds to load a damn web page? Page where we're going to show you why and how and basically how to fix that and all of that's coming right up after the break. Now if it's your first time visiting this channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button! Hey every view dorks, we review tech, media, viral videos and of course video games and share with you some of the best how-tos that well only a dork would know. Consider us the YouTube tech support. So let's get right to it guys. Alright guys, here at Review Dork, it's all about showing you the proof. Now, if you look on the left hand side, this is basically what my download speed looked like before I optimized everything that uh, I will share with you in this tutorial. If you look on the right hand side, you will see a lower ping by 2 milliseconds, which is great, and a higher download speed by about 13-14 megabits per second. My upload speed improved marginally, but at the end, this is all about optimizing your uh, download speeds and optimizing your website loading time. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and take back the 20% bandwidth that Microsoft is stealing from you just for the sake of using Windows and help you load your web pages much, much, much faster. So let's get right to it. Okay guys, so we are on the desktop and we are going to do step one. Now there's two simple steps to this and I'm gonna try to make this tutorial as easy and non-painful as possible for those non-techies out there. So basically what we wanna do is we want to go and into our run prompt. And as you can see there, I have gpedit.msc. Now, for those who have Windows 10 Home Edition, you do not have this enabled, but I'm going to show you how to get this enabled on your Windows 10 Home Edition at the end of this video. So basically, what you want to do is you want to go to gpedit.msc, you click OK, and you're going to get a window that pops up. Now, you want to go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Network, and QoS Packet Scheduler. So now that we're in the QoS Packet Scheduler, we want to click Limit Reservable Bandwidth. Now, it's not configured, but let's explain this a little bit. By default, the Package Scheduler limits the system to 20% of the bandwidth of a connection, but it can use the setting to override the default. So basically, what Windows does is it limits 20% or allocates 20% of your bandwidth just so it could run is updates. And we want to go ahead and use 100% of your bandwidth. So we're going to go ahead and change this. So we're going to go to settings. We're going to click enabled. And we're going to change this 20 to 0. OK. So we have that there. We click apply. We click OK. And we are done with that. Okay, so next up, what we want to do is go to Limit Outstanding Packets. And let's go ahead and explain. So outstanding packets are packets that the packet scheduler has submitted to the network adapter for transmission, but which not have yet been sent. So basically, you want to go ahead and increase that number of outstanding packets. If we go ahead and enable this, you will see 65535. We are going to enter 4 followed by nine zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We click apply, we click OK, and we're done with this. All right, so now we are gonna go over to step number two. And like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how to get 
the G padded on your Windows Home Edition because it's normally reserved for Windows Pro or the networking solution of Windows. But I'll show you guys how to get that at the end of this video. But let's go ahead and go on to the second part. Now the second part has to do with our network. So we're going to go ahead and right click. We're going to open network and sharing and we're going to change adapter settings. Here at adapter settings, we are going to right click. We're going to go to properties. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go to internet protocol version for TCP IP version four. That is the standard. Now some ISPs, um, use the internet protocol six or IPv six, but for the most part, you can use four. So we're going to double click that and what we're going to look at is down here, obtain DNS server address automatically. Now what happens here is, is that the DNS server address is routed to your internet service provider. So when you do a search for a domain name like youtube.com, basically that request is sent to your internet service provider, which then hits a table. The internet service provider then goes ahead and takes that domain name and looks at a table and matches it to an IP address so that it can send you to the site. Well, you know what? Some internet service providers like Comcast, Charter, um, you know, uh, Cox or Time Warner, all those internet service providers that we've learned to grow and hate, their DNS server settings are absolutely horrible. So what you want to do is actually change this to the king of the internet. And the king of the internet is Google. And so Google offers a DNS server or DNS tables that it is so fast, it is so fast. You send a request on over to Google DNS and it hits their table at lightning speed. Google DNS is actually one of the fastest uh, DNS servers out there. So what we wanna do is change this to use the following DNS server address and we are going to type in eight, 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 eight. And alternate server address will be eight, eight, four, four. And we click OK. And we click OK. And we are all set. We back up out of here. Guys, we are all done. We can now go ahead and surf the internet at lightning speed. Look how fast Amazon loads up for me. There was literally nothing going on down in the bottom where it says, uh, you know, finding domain name or DNS server address or anything. Everything just loads super, super fast. And that's because, well, I increased my bandwidth and I changed my DNS server settings. And guys, you can do this too and improve your internet and surfing experience and also improve your bandwidth. And that's pretty much it, guys. The proof is in the pudding. I just wanted to show you guys all of this and, you know, help you guys out. Again, here at Review Dork, we review tech, media, viral videos, and, of course, video games. But we are a bunch of nerds. And stuff like this tends to excite us. And we love to help you guys out as well. So, if you have any questions or you have any comments, you know, throw them down in the comment section below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if this absolutely helped you out. And, of course... I'm going to show you guys right now how to get gpedit.msc uh, to your computer. All right, guys, so I promised you guys that I wouldn't conclude this video until I showed you how to enable gpedit.msc, which is basically uh, group policies, which is not enabled in Windows 10 Home Edition. It's actually enabled for Windows Server and Windows Pro. And uh, this is actually a great tool. And so this is how you enable it. I will include the uh, link down in the description below. And here are your directions. Once you download the file and install, you will simply go to Windows SysWell64 and copy the following files, group policy, group policy users, and gpedit.msc. You want to copy these three files to Windows slash system32 right here, just like this. Okay. And then from the run dialog, you type in 
gpedit.msc and then simply hit OK. And that's how you get it installed, guys. So if you found this video tutorial helpful, make sure you like, share, subscribe, guys. This is Gabe with the Fear Dork, and I'm out. Peace!